Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? Whoop, whoop. It's your boy, Psycho Juggalo. And much clown love to the Hatchet fam. What's up, everybody else? How y'all doing? Much love to everybody. Welcome back to the asylum where the inmates run the asylum. And I am the head inmate. Anyway, so here we go. Um, we're going to do a day of iced tea. Because, well, I want to. And the first track we're going to do is off of his album, Iceberg. It is entitled, Freedom of Speech, Just Watch What You Say. I hope you guys like it. It's one of my favorites. So uh, without further ado, let's um, get over to YouTube. Click. Let's jump on one from Ice T's topic. Click. There's one nine word myth you must absolutely never believe if you ever want to be able to. Hey, yo, Ice Man, I'm working on this term paper for college. What's the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. That's some motherfucking bullshit. You say the wrong thing, they lock your ass up quick. The SEC says profanity, no airplay. They can suck my dick while I take a shit all day. Think I give a fuck about some silly bitch named Boy, your PMRC. Here we go. War. Yo, shit, what's the matter? You ain't getting no dick. You bitching about rock and roll. That's such a shit, dumb bitch. The Constitution say we all got a right to speak. Say what we want, tip. Yo okay, something obviously wrong here. Or am I not getting any volume? Ready to get Try that again. Hey, yo, Ice Man, I'm working on this term paper for college. What's the First Amendment? Apparently not. Okay. Sorry, folks. My shit's a little fucked up today. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Well, this paired, but why isn't it connecting? I'm lost here. Okay, that's up. Volume's all the way up. I don't get it. Okay. So, I'm sorry, but we're just going to use the uh, speakers that are on the computer. I prefer my Bluetooth, but fuck it. It's not working. Nothing too pair. Powering off. Oh, today is not a good day, man. Anyway, let's try this again. Hey, yo, Ice Man, I'm working on this term paper for college. What's the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. That's some motherfucking bullshit. You say the wrong thing, they lock your ass up quick. The SEC says profanity, no airplay. They can suck my dick while I take a shit all day. Think I give a fuck about some silly bitch named Boy, your PMRC. Here we go. War. Yo, shit. Let's. Okay, so. Uh, this album was made, I believe, in the early 90s. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe, yeah, it was like early 90, 91. At that point in time. Uh, which started in the 80s, was a little uh, coalition called the PMRC, also known as the Paris, Parents Music Resource Coalition. They were the people responsible for the labels on records. Anyway, they were headed up by a lady by the name of Patricia Gore, also known as Tipper Gore, which was the wife of Senator Al Gore. Now, there were many congressional hearings on this. As a matter of fact, you could pull them up on YouTube. Uh, just pull up PR, PRMC congressional hearings. You'll see the you'll see Frank Zappa. You'll see D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. You'll see Ice T. You'll see a lot of people talking about this, and 
that that was like the beginning of censorship when it came to music. Now, um, I grew up in this time. I am an, I am a child of the '80s, and you know life was a lot different back then. First of all, the racial divide was not as fucking bad as it is now. There was racial divide, but not this bad. You know, that shit didn't really come about until, well, Barack Obama. You know, racial racial problems had died down in America. You know, and at one point, um, we were pretty much close to getting along. You know, and then the 2000s hit and we had the Michael Brown thing and the rise of Black Lives Matter, which, in my opinion, is a terrorist organization. That is the organization, not the movement. I believe in everything that the movement started with. Police brutality is bullshit. I've been beaten up by police. You know, and technically, though, you got to understand, you know, I may look white, but I am not completely white. I am of mixed race. And I am mixed race with uh, Spanish, Italian, and Native American. So, yeah. Anyway. So. He's like telling her right out, you know, fuck you, Tipper Gore. And that's how that goes. This is a... Four minute, 11 second song, and I'm probably going to talk a lot through it. Now, the first thing you heard in this song was A.R. Ice, I got to do a paper on the First Amendment. What do you know about it? That was Everlast. You guys know Everlast from House of Pain or Whitey Ford Sings the Blues? You know? So, yeah. That was Everlast. You know, you know him from his battle with Eminem. Anyway, here we go. What's the matter? You ain't getting no dick. You bitching back rock and roll. That's such a shit, dumb bitch. The Constitution say we all got a right to speak. Say what we want, tip. Your argument is weak. Sense a record TV school books, too. And who decides what's right to hear you? Hey, PMR, see you stupid fucking assholes. The sticker on the record is what makes them so gold. Can't you see? You alcoholic idiots. The more you try to suppress us, the larger we get. Freedom of speech. Just watch what you say. Freedom of speech. Yeah, just watch what you say. Freedom of speech. Yeah, boy, just watch what you say. You have the right to remain silent. Fuck that right. I want the right to talk. I want the right to speak. I want the right to walk where I wanna. Yell and I'm gonna. Tell and rebel every time I'm on a microphone on the stage, cold illin'. The knowledge I drop will be heard by millions. We ain't the problems, we ain't the villains. It's the suckers, the pride, and the truth from our children. You can't hide the fact, Jack, that violence in the streets every day. Any fool can recognize that. But you try to lie and lie and say America's some motherfucking apple pie. Yo, you gotta be high to believe that you're gonna change the world by a sticker on a record sleeve. Cause once you take away my right to speak, everybody. In the world's up shit creep. Freedom of speech. Yeah, and that's where we're headed in this country, because we give these fucking morons, the Twitterati as we call them, the right to ban speech that they don't like. It's um I believe Tom McDonald said it. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate you know so yeah um as far as i'm concerned all you little progressive leftists that want to change our entire country and our system push us towards socialism and communism fuck you period for all of you black lives matter organizationalists the organization, not the movement. Fuck you, too. Anyway. I'm back with this. Yeah. Just watch what you say. Freedom of speech. Yeah, boy. Just watch what you say. Freedom of speech. Ha <laughs> ha. You better watch what you say. Explicit lyrics. Explicit lyrics. Let me tell you about down south, real motherfucker might as well not even have a mouth. Columbus, Georgia said they'd lock me up if I got on the stage in my show and said fuck. So I thought for a minute and said no, I wasn't even gonna do a damn show. 
tough for me to change my word for my rhymes is never gonna happen cause there's no sell out for mine But I vow to get those motherfuckers one day They even arrested Bobby Brown and Cool J Yo, they got this coming cause I'm mad and I'm gunning homeboys And there's no running I'm gonna tell you how I feel about you No bull, no lies, no slack, just straight fact Columbus, Georgia, you can suck my dick You ain't nothing but a piece of fucking shit on the damn map Freedom of speech Yeah Just watch what you say Freedom of speech yeah. See, and right there is a prime example of what Ice-T had to go through being an artist and touring in the South and, you know, all of these people trying to tell him that he can't say what he's saying. The problem with what Ice-T was saying is he was too fucking real. And that's my problem with, you know, that's my worry with Tom McDonald is that man is too fucking real and I'm afraid the government's going to come after him. You know, so hopefully, you know, they don't, and they allow him to speak what he speaks because it needs to be heard. Uh, this is old school, what Tom McDonald was saying. So, yeah, all of this, it needs to be heard. Yeah, you better watch what you say. Freedom of speech! Just watch what you say. Parental advisory. Parental advisory. Freedom of speech, let them take it from me, next they'll take it from you, then what you gonna do? Let them censor books, let them censor art, PMRC, this is where the witch hunt starts. You'll censor what we see, we read, we hear, we learn, the books will burn. You better think it out, we should be able to say anything. Our lungs were meant to shout, say what we feel, yell out what's real, even though it may not bring mass appeal. Your opinion is yours, my opinion is mine, if you don't like what I'm saying, fine. But don't close it, always keep an open mind, a man who fails to listen is blind. We only got one right left in the world today. Let me have it or throw the Constitution away. Freedom of speech! Now, I'll explain something to people here. The freedom of speech and the First Amendment is only safe as long as we still have the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is what keeps our freedoms intact. Now, for these people who want to get rid of guns, you're stupid. All right, if you make it to where the government and police are the only people that can have guns, you will have tyranny. The reason we have guns is to keep that from happening. And yes, we can keep that from happening. No matter what the government tries to tell you. Anyway, it's bullshit. And I'm sorry to say, but every Democrat president has pushed us towards communism in one way or another. The Republicans warned about this back in the, I believe, 30s and 40s. You know, with Senator McCarthy, or was it President McCarthy? I don't know. But fucking, yeah, with the McCarthy trials and Nuremberg and all that shit. You know? Yeah. The red wave or the red threat was real. And now it's in our country. Thanks to China. Thanks to Russia. Thanks to our immigration policies not vetting people before they come in. That's how we get spies in this country. That's how this country falls. Do you not understand? Our country needs to be united. Wake up, people. There's a reason they say united we stand, divided we fall. And right now we are far from united and the rest of the world sees it. If you want this country to be taken over, keep going. Because that's what will happen. But not in my lifetime. I may not have been able to join the military, but I guarantee you if a communist comes into my country and tries to do some shit, I'm fucking fighting. I'm a convicted felon. I will pick up a gun and I will defend my country, even though they told me I can't. You understand? My dream as a child was to become a Marine. Unfortunately, diabetes got in the way. That wasn't God's plan. I don't know what his plan was, because I went way the fuck downhill after that. I spent close to 
35 years on a downward spot. I'm just barely coming out of it. I started coming out of it around the age of 38. I'm now 46. You know, so, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, if I'm, if I'm hurting your ears or whatever. But I'm very passionate and I'm very fucking pissed off at how our country's fucking going. So, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Just watch what you say. Freedom of speech. You better watch what you say. Freedom of speech. Yeah, boy. You better watch what you say. Explicit lyrics. Explicit lyrics. What they're trying to do with radio, with this uh, McCarran Walter Act, and a lot of other ways, is start by saying that they're protecting the public from wicked rock bands or girly magazines or whatever, but if you follow the chain of dominoes that falls down, what they're really trying to do is shut off our access to information itself. And guess what? They found a way to do it. It's called social media. Facebook. They censor everything. Twitter is run by a fucking commie. Yes, Jack Dorsey is a fucking communist. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're already at that point. We are being fed information that they want us to know. To find any other information, you have to do a deep search through Google and shit because they hide the real shit. This is how it works. You deprive the people of information, you make the people dumb. The people have no idea what's going on, you can manipulate the people into doing what you want. This is the government. Anyway. If they can't do it by law, they know there's other ways to do it. There's a terrible curse that... So yeah, I'm sorry about all the difficulties in this first video. Hopefully I can get it done better with the next three or four. Anyway, um, that's one of my favorite songs by Ice-T. So, you know, maybe he was a gangster rapper, but he was also conscious. You know, and that's what he, that's how he was before he became an actor. You know, and the man is still the same. He hasn't changed a bit. If he picked up a mic, he could still spit this shit. You know, so it's just, it's what it is. You know, our country is completely in a downward spiral. And we need to stop it. We need to stand up against these Twitteratis. Against these small fraction of people in America who believe it is a fucked up place. And right now it is fucked up, but you know what? We can fix it. Problem is though, is we got people actively trying not to let us do that. So yeah, it's, I, I really don't know, man. I really don't. But like I said, you know, if, if worse comes to worse, I will defend this country on his homeland. Legal or illegal, I will do it. And that's all I got to say on this one. This your boy, the Psycho Juggalo, saying, whoop, whoop, much clown love to the Hatchet fam, much love to everybody else. Tune in next time, same Psycho site, same Psycho channel. And it's lights out in the asylum. Peace.